tried to start yet another project with you. I'm trying a little, a little bit of a different camera thing here. This is a tripod leg. I've got you on the table. Because um, this is quite close up and I want to be able to see the screen. And this is just easier. It's a smaller project so I don't need the whole table. Um, I have this. Um, it's a little tray. That uh, I, bought, I got from the works with these little uh, chipboard butterflies and things in but I took the butterflies and things out and put them in this little tub so that they're with my other butterflies and then I was like hey let's not throw this away this is quite cool I can use this as a little challenge <laughs> yeah I think it's going to be a real challenge for sort of miniature artworks. I've done a little template, that's as big as I have to work on. But because it's got a little depth to it, I can do something nice in 3D. So that would be nice. And then I can hang this up, have it as a little, a little shelving thing. So um, I've added some gesso to the front here, uh, just because it's a very dark wood. And um, I'm going to try and brighten this up a little bit. Um, and what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go around the edges with this paper. This is from, oh, this is a big sheet, this um, Graphic 45 pad. Graphic 45 Botanica Bella. Or Botanica Bell. Botanica Bella, yeah. Um, as you see, I've already snipped out of this cover page. I think there's some butterflies on there that I wanted for another project. And this is the largest sheet that I've cut this from. Uh, Botanical News, this sheet is called. Um, and I've drawn on the back around the edges of this. And I've lost my scissors, here we are. <laughs> Prepared as ever. Um, and I'm just going to cut this. Now, probably need to trim them down a bit because obviously when you draw around something, it's bigger than you actually need it. Let me check the side first. Yep, I need to trim them down quite a bit. I don't think the box is even all the way around, so <clears throat> oh, there's a little lip on some of the sides. I'm just trying to figure out which side I'm over on, oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's going to need trimming quite a bit, so take that down a bit. That was not so bad that way, but perhaps a little off the end. Shaking the camera. I had my foot off on the angle, then you know, when it starts to go all wibbly. I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, yeah, tiny bit of that one. Oh, you may have noticed. I've put a fresh sheet of uh, paper down here and I've put Lift this up. Put some vinyl on my table. I bought this from eBay. I really like it actually. I think it looks really, um, I don't know, really nice. And it's fresh and I can wipe it clean easier than the surface that was there before. So you want a nice, easy, clean surface. I mean, the paint does still stick to it, but it's easier than the surface that was there before. So if you catch it before it dries, it's fine. Um, I'm going to use this pin flip glue gel again. Um, just gonna get that on there. Nice and flat this time, we're not using it for 3D. Oh, slippy slippy. It's kind of repositionable for a little while so
Yeah, so I have no idea what I'm actually going to put in here. I'm thinking I'm going to use at least one of those little chipboard shapes that came out of the box because that's an easy start. Um, but yeah, other than that, no idea. Oh, that's going to be trim because that side's got a lip on it. It's not the best made little box, but it, it's fairly sturdy, so. Open up. Sticky, messy fingers. not bothered about the back because as I say I'm hoping to get this stuck up on my wall eventually when it's full of nice things that's that on my table there it doesn't really matter Oh, if you're wondering what I did do with the previous surface, it's rolled up in the drawer. Get that for you, thank you. Sure. Yeah, I just rolled that up, and then if I need an arty background or some nice sturdy paper to work on, I just cut what size I need and use that. And then there's, it kind of means that I'm not staring at a blank page, even if I gesso over the whole thing. It's a nice sturdy paper to work on and it will take the layers and it just means that there's something there already, there's a bit of colour down and it's not like staring at something completely blank. <coughs> uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, as I say, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with this yet but I have started to do some backgrounds with it. This I've just put down some of this. Sorry, I keep trying to turn into the drawers. It's quite nice to have them right here. They're nice and handy. Oop, dropping things. This tape that you use for that plasterboard. I think I got this for a pound from the local hardware shop. And there's tons of it. <laughs> tons and tons of it. And yeah, I'll put that down. This is with the Lindy Stamp Gang Spray, but it's a bit bright, isn't it? Um, can I change this? I can't do it whilst with. Yeah, I'm going to try and change the white balance, but I can't do it. Yeah, with Lindy Stamp Gang Spray with no gesso, and this side I put gesso over the top of the tape. That's a bit better, a better angle. There we go. The reason I did that was because it wasn't really doing anything with the tape here, it was kind of going underneath it. 
So when I put the gesso on, the tape kind of it kind of glued the tape down properly, and the tape became part of the page sort of thing. So then you started getting sort of lines as it reacted together better. I've just gessoed these bits of paper. I haven't done anything with these yet, but we will do. And then this, I've just dropped down some magenta and some purple ink and sprayed that with water. I'm just yeah. That's probably going to make some kind of background for whatever I do. But I'm thinking I might use a bit of mount board in here. Because, like I say, it's got a nice bit of depth. Probably end up using some buttons and things like that. Um, but yeah, we should see how this goes. I have no idea. Um, I just wanted to film this so you know that this is going to be a project that hopefully I'll be working on with you guys. I, if I do do anything for it, I will film it because I think that would be nice. I've never really done anything this small before. I know you can do, people do inches and twinchies which are just inch size squares. It's quite limiting but in a way that's, that's kind of good. It, it makes you think a bit more. So, yeah, hope you, anyway, I'll say enjoyed that, but I didn't really do much, did I? But this is kind of an introduction to what we might be doing in the future. So, watch this space. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you again soon, hopefully with more of this. Uh, so, yeah, bye.